Lisa's missing!
Huh? Bomb truck has appeared.
away from teammates. Heal up in time. As I know, we can break the seal by rotating the mirrors to adjust the reflection angles. We have no time to spare. Let's try rotating the first mirror. Good job. The light is reflected. Let's rotate the second mirror to reflect the light onto the statue. That's it. There are two statues. Now that we have activated one, let's activate the other in the same way.
Nice. You did it. This is the location of the final Earth Totem. As a reward, you can take him with you as you leave. Moon! Or, are you going to become pesky meddlers instead? I didn't expect you to have something up your sleeve. Unfortunately, it's all for naught. Enjoy your remaining moments of happiness. The Onkash tribe shall be next. Nasty bastard got away again. Next time, I'll wring her neck myself.
Someone who can cure Jaya, the Elf Queen, Eleanor. The only thing is, she lives in the Misty Forest. The forest is under the Queen's spell, filled with heavy fog, so it's not easy to have an audience with her.
The story begins with Vilu. It's the birthplace of High Elves, the most stunning star in the universe. When Moira, the god of destiny, projected her first will onto this planet, the elves became the most devout children of God. They listened to the teachings and celebrated the miracles. The elves lived happily. They didn't know that Asheron, the god of disaster, was already behind them. Like the fate of billions of planets, Vilu turned to dust. Moira. The God of Destiny arrived so late that she could only take the High Elves away. Across many planets, the High Elves came to Taurus Land. They were at a loss, faced with a barren new world. Moira, the God of Destiny, performed yet another miracle. He sowed the seeds in the misty forest and guided the elves to flourish there. The seeds grew into the Tree of Luan, providing a place of shelter. The High Elves obeyed their god and never ventured out of the forest. Some say it's a sanctuary. Some say it's a prison. No one cares what the truth is. It's you! You're the scholar we met at the library. What... what is your name again? Sullivan, from Orsenheim. Yes, Mr. Sullivan! I heard you've been to the Misty Forest. Could you...? Wait, Catherine. This gentleman seems to know us well, but we don't know anything about him yet. Mr. Sullivan seems to have a close relationship with the elves. Yeah, history is mandatory for the royal family, but I've never heard of this... history of the High Elves. Mr. Sullivan, how do you know that? Ah, it's no secret in the Misty Forest. To be precise, I had traversed the Misty Forest alone. I've heard your stories. And I hate to see heroic tales end in tragedy. Only the Elf Queen can heal Jaya. With your permission, I can act as a guide and help you enter the Misty Forest. You can trust me. Excellent! Jaya is saved! Mr. Sullivan, please take us to the Misty Forest. Yes, I'll be with you guys this time. Jaya got hurt when defending Silver Lit. I need to be sure that she will be all right. 
Well, I've made up my mind. No one can stop me. No need to rush. Prepare yourselves before you go. As the High Elves used to say, preparedness is the key to success. Let's go see how Jay is doing. As for Catherine, go say goodbye to your brother, the King. Don't sneak out of the city with us. Well, Jaya's in good spirits. Do you remember the scholar we met in the library? Who? Sullivan? He promised to take us to the Elf Queen. She will heal you. We're going to meet up with Sullivan. Better get over there quickly.
The Jaya rescue team is officially assembled. Oh, Catherine, please. Enough of this ridiculous behavior. Well, I feel a little embarrassed, too. How does the Misty Forest Expedition sound? Now that everyone is here, let's set out. I remember that Port Brawlins is closest to the Misty Forest. Mr. Sullivan, is this the route we're flying? that we meet the Elf Queen as soon as possible. Let's get going. Still miles ahead. Let's hurry. Watch out. There's something ahead. It's a merfolk. Strange. We're not in the merfolk's right? way. Did I lead us the wrong way? Did I lead us the wrong way? You deal with the merfolks! I will protect Jaya! Look out! The merfolk are back! They just keep coming! May the gods bless you all. I am Sentinel Arce Crisio Yahidad Richter Giamondorni Durellis. It's our tradition to add the name of ancestors before one's own name. If you can't remember it, just call me Durellis. You've come at the right time. The queen has been preparing for the ritual of Emersea. She can often be found in the throne city. If we are lucky, we'll see her as soon as we enter the city. The ritual of Emersea? What is that? In short, it's a ritual to extend the life of the Tree of Luan. We got the right guide. You really know the Misty Forest. That said, I always thought there was something familiar about Mr. Sullivan. This is the Elfland Luan. Welcome, guests from beyond the forest. So this is the Tree of Luan. The architecture style is completely different from Silver Lit. It's a city built on a tree. The spirit of nature blesses us with all kinds of miracles. That's because its life is draining away. Since it was planted, the tree of Luan has grown in blessing. Until 300 years ago, when a meteorite hit it, Although it withstood the energy that was enough to destroy a city, the Tree of Luan has been withering day by day since then. That's why we must perform the ritual of Emersea to extend its life. We're not worried, though. Everyone believed that with the Queen, the tree will be restored to its normal state. Let's go see her now. I heard her voice. She's in the square, talking to someone. It's such a peaceful city. I like the vibe. 
Usually, it's quite busy. For now, everyone wants to be a part of the ritual, so many went to help. I would have joined them if not for my duties. God, please grant me guidance. Show me where our future lies. Queen is communicating with the Tree of Luin. We'll go over there later. The Hollow. I've waited a long time for you guests from the outside world. I am Eleanor, the Elf Queen you seek. <laughs> Pardon me. I was so caught up in the scenery that I slowed down. Ugh, it's not your... No wonder, Miss J. Is it true that in a case like Miss J... That seems to be the case, but... Sounds like a rare... The floating ladder goes straight up to the upper level. We'll go up from there. The Tree of Luin has suffered a severe blow. We need to perform the ritual of Emersea as soon as possible. We need more puffs.
sorry. When I calm down and think about it, you all have nothing to do with Se Zelo. We all became his guides to the Queen. The swamp expands again. The puffs grow well in the forest, but in such an environment. Anyway, let's look around. are essential for the ritual of Emersea, but their numbers are dwindling. Uh, I, I know where to find them. <laughs> Can we trust him? He is a merfolk. Let's give it a try. We can't give up. As long as there is a glimmer of it was part of the forest, but now it is a swamp occupied by the merfolk. Better to see for yourself than to make wild guesses here. Let's go. Proceed. What you have done is in vain. The future of the elves is mine to decide. There are always delusional people who talk big. Are you hurt? Uh, are you an elf? <laughs> <laughs> 
or a merfolk? Clicker was an elf. So your name is Clicker, right? You said you used to be an elf, so how did you end up like this? Clicker wanted to be smart, so I went to Zelo. Zelo gave Click smart water. Clicker wanted to be smarter, disobeyed Zelo, drank the whole bottle, and that was it. Zelo is mad. Zelo ignores Clicker. Where Zelo is. He's in the house front. There's a lot of smart water in there. You go beg him for me. Sounds like the laboratory where the potion was crafted. Clicker, we'll help you find Zelo. But you can't stay here, understand? Okay. Clicker knows the way. Clicker goes home first. to restoring the Tree of Lewin. Since you're not sincere, we have nothing to talk about then. The appearance of Zelo exposed his intention. He was trying to hide the lab. If I'm correct, the lab is somewhere near. Did you notice the light on the tree? It may be the key. Thank you. 
Wow, didn't expect it to be this spacious. To save time, let's go find the puffs separately. Here's a notebook. Dorellis, I'd like you to take a look. Ah, it's the operation manual in Elf Tongue. This line reads... Diamond devices? Oh, do you mean the... And release the failed lab objects from the warehouse. Operate... Dorellis, can't you tell us in one go? Uh, you guys deal with it first. Give me some time, uh, I'll find a solution. I see. The lower level of the lab is a material library where important materials are stored. These mechanisms, by activating different combinations of gemstones, we can obtain different materials. This is great! We can get puffs with this. Here it comes again. Protect the relics. Distinguish all the gemstone orbs and close the divine people in the middle. We've extinguished one gemstone orb. Next, close the eye in the center, and we have success.
Zelo saw that the Tree of Luan would not recover, and tried to grow a new tree using other forces. Here are all the puffs. There should be enough for the ritual of Emersea. Let's go! It's a pity you still believe the lies that Eleanor spins. The ritual of Emersea is just a charade to fool you. The Queen is saving the Tree of Lewin! Saving a tree that has already wilted is as pointless as stopping the sun from setting. <laughs> I bet Eleanor didn't tell you what a puff is. Puffs are no ordinary plants. They're animals for the first half of their lives. And Eleanor is using the life of the puffs to extend the life of the tree. What's the difference between what she's doing and my experiments? Or is it that the value of life is not equal in your eyes. Yes, life is equal. Every life is part of the natural cycle. The Queen has always taught us that everything we have is borrowed, including our lives. Sooner or later, we will all return to the cycle. Flowers, plants, bugs and animals, you and I, are all part of the cycle of life. Zelo, you are right. Puffs are indeed animals for the first half of their lives. But you didn't mention that they turn into a plant for the second half of their lives. We don't pick them until after they have finished reproducing. Your pillaging and leaving a trail of destruction behind has left countless wounds on the world. Your disregard for balance is palpable. <laughs> Looks like you have made your choice. And I will move forward with my new plan. I will take good care of Jay. And you shall lament in remorse and despair. <laughs> Let's get out of here first. You look pretty upset. You must have failed. You're terrible at tempting others. Don't worry. I prepared an exquisite gift just for him. And you shall be the big surprise inside. 